I'm Preston Foster, coming your way with another exciting episode of Waterfront. This is Wharf Street. I grew up right around the corner at 91 Surf. Some of the finest and jolliest people in the world own these colorful shops you see here. They're all my good friends. And I'm Captain John Harrington. There's Mac Benson, owner of the Lobster Claw. Morning, Captain John. What's the hurry? Say, if you love real fish chowder with plenty of onions, try Max. And there's Tom Bailey. Buy all my gear from Tom. In just a moment now, we'll be at the waterfront. And then you'll see the sweetheart of the whole harbor, Cheryl Ann. But this is one day I wish it never started. Son's gonna be a stockbroker. What do you mean, stockbroker? Suppose you hear again. No son of mine is gonna clip coupons. And by the way, what's the Isabel been doing going out to sea so often late at night? Important new business contract we got, and you didn't. Good morning, Skipper. Would you like some coffee, Captain? Not right now, Billy. We got it cast off in a hurry. Let's hop to it. Morning, Sid. Turn him up. Cheryl Ann to Maine. Maine to Cheryl Ann. What's the latest dope on the Lurleen? Leaving on schedule, Captain. Dispatching the Los Angeles to join you. Thanks. I can use it. Say, Al, uh, call Berth 5 and be sure that boy of mine's there ready to hop aboard, will you? Right, Captain. Thanks. All right, boys. Cast off on the double. Half speed ahead. Stand by for a running pickup of Captain Carl of Berth number 5. It is that that girl hasn't got them all tied up. For you, Miss Terry. Take it away. I'll call back later. But, Miss Terry, you said I was to wake you. I said take it away. I'll call back later, Molly. But it's Captain Carl, and he's very anxious oh. to talk. Oh, why didn't you say so? Hello, darling. Hi, Terry. Everything's all set. Mom and Dad will come out to Crown Hill tonight. That's wonderful, dear. Did you tell him the news about you? Uh, don't get mad. I'm going to tell him this morning for sure. You've been putting this off for weeks. Honestly, I think you're more scared of your father than you are in love with me. Maybe you know that's not true. It's just that it has to come at the right moment, that's all. Well, if you can't find the right moment today, then, then I'm going to tell him myself tonight. I will. Well, I've got to go now, honey. Cheryl Ann's heading in for me. I'll see you tonight, huh? good about it. With you towing us up to those Van Buren's tonight. <laughs> well, let's get yourself all steamed up. They're really looking forward to meeting you and Mom. Yeah. Feel like I was being presented at court. <laughs> oh, uh, we've got kind of a surprise for you. How are you? 
Good. Shall I start pulling her out? Well, it's 4 o'clock. Anytime you're ready. Bye. Use your shore phone? No, not at all. Help yourself. Thank you. Terminal 56741. Hello, Mom. Uh, I, uh, I don't feel so good. I got a cold. You mean cold feet, but jaw. Well, I can't help it. Tell him anything. Call a Van Buren's and tell him, tell him anything. Tell him I got the grip. Son, I, uh, well, your, your mom and I, uh, we're not going tonight. Dad, you can't just duck out without an excuse. Mom already gave me an excuse. I got the grip. Bad. Well, I guess I'll just have to tell you now. That... Now, uh, we'll talk about it some other time. I got a day's work to do. Dad, I'm going to be a stockbroker. Terry's father's offered me a swell opportunity in the investment business. You landlocked in an office barge? Why, son? Why? Well, it isn't only my life. It's Terry's, too. This is a chance to make real money and have everything. And without her old man giving it to us on a silver platter. You understand that, don't you? See you tomorrow morning, Dad. No son of mine's gonna be a pinstripe coupon clipper. Hi, Mac. Well, yeah, what in the world's the matter with you? Stomach ache or something? Worse than that. Say, who was that pair of sidewinders that just crawled out of here with Ward Crowley? Don't know, but they sure don't look like Samaritans to me. Ah, oh, come on, Mac. Tell me, what's eating you? My baby son just happens to have fallen in love with an heiress. <laughs> what's so bad about that? Her old man's a stockbroker. Now Carl wants to be one. Carl, a stockbroker? Well, that is a laugh. I gotta hustle, Mac. I gotta pick up my car before 7 o'clock. So long. Mom? Mom? Hello, Dad. Hi, Dave. Stop by for supper? Mm-hmm. Must have smelled Mom's lemon pie clear down to the station. <laughs> we need a little courage around here tonight, don't we, Captain Coldfeet? Mom's kind of sore about me backing out on that Van Buren shit. <laughs> so I hear. Is this your night off? Yeah, but this uh, cobalt case has me really bothered. Cobalt? That's what they use in that atomic energy stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Cobalt's not something you can hawk easily. The only evidence we have points to the docks. I mean, it's actually being smuggled out of the country? Could well be. 
I'm going to follow up a strong new lead tonight down by berth 83. Couldn't that be a little risky? No, I don't think so. Anything I can do to help? No, thanks. Well, uh, you might drive down by the docks if I don't phone you back here by now. Sure, son. Dave! Yeah? Will you please come here a minute and help me with this jar of pickles? Can't get the top off. Thanks, dear. Mom. Well? You know, you're growing up into a mighty pretty woman. And you into a coward? Oh, May, what possible difference can it make if we don't eat with the Van Burens? Now, you listen to me, John. You're the best tugboat captain in the harbor, but the worst father. Father? Well, what kind of a son is Carl? After all my training, he starts running after oh, the... Oh, why don't you do something about it? Mr. Van Buren's probably giving him his first assignment right now. You don't think I'm afraid of him, do you? So? All right. Get your coat. We'll go right now. I'll tell that, that, that tycoon I have my own plans for Carl. Oh, but what about supper? We'll get something later. Oh, but, John, uh, I haven't a thing to wear. Who's holding us up now? What about that shiny blue job with a bow on the neck? Oh, all right. Just give me five minutes, and you put on your blue suit. Yes, dear. Oh, Dave, there's a nice pop roast in the oven. Help yourself, will you? Why don't you call me at the Van Buren's instead, Dave? Okay, Dave. Anti-busting. Fast. Find what you're looking for? Real curious fellow, huh? Better go tell Kelling to shove off. How'd you like a little boat ride? We might need a cop. All right, Kelling, we're taking off. It's still early. Suddenly it got late. There's a cop below. What? What's he after? Just what he found. But it'll keep him quiet. Let's get started. I don't like having a cop on board. I, I didn't expect this kind of trouble. Now, you ain't getting paid to like anything. You just run your boat. You got nothing to worry about but spending all that nice new money. Now, the Narvik's pulling out on schedule in one hour, and we want to be on it. Now, get going. Cast off all lines. John, I still think this is no time to stir up the kettle, especially since we begged off. No, no, we gotta, we gotta face it now. Oh, well, maybe you could say one of those special prayers of yours. Got us out of a lot of pickles before. Go ahead, dear. Ring the bell. Oh. You think I'm afraid? Of course not. Maybe, um, you do it for luck. I, I guess 
you're right, man. You better come back another time. Yes, sir. What is it? Nothing. Are Mr. and Mrs. Van Buren in? They are dining and can't be disturbed. May I inquire who is calling? That's all right, mate. Just say the Herricks drop by. Did you say Captain and Mrs. Herrick? But I thought... Captain Herrick's cold is much better now. Well, Jackson, who is it? Captain and Mrs. Herrick, sir. The Herricks? Well, show them in. Delighted, Mrs. Herrick. Captain, good to see you. Come in, folks. You know, we were just talking about my plans for that son of yours. Well, Carl's a fine boy. That's just it, Mr. Van Buren. You see, I don't think that... What a lovely home you have, Mr. Van Buren. Isn't I... it, John? Hmm? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now, I want you to understand that no son of mine has ever... staircase. Oh, what a charming twist. Well, it's high time we had you two up here. Oh, Emily, my wife, uh, Captain and Mrs. Herrick. What a nice surprise. Well, they've already eaten, dear, but at least oh. they'll join us for coffee in the den. Your hat, sir. Hmm? Oh. It's a good time for a walk in the garden. It's nearly a full moon tonight, you know. Make that comfortable chair, Captain. Uh, no, thanks. I'd rather stand. Now, suppose you tell us how you happen to be out fishing for Cope. Talk, Buster. Only when I have something to say. Oh, there's nothing like a nice hot cup of coffee after supper. If it doesn't make you keep you awake. Don't you think so, Mrs. Van Buren? Oh, surely. Uh, do you take cream and sugar in your coffee, Captain? Oh, uh, yes, thanks. Sit down, Captain. Rest yourself. Mr. Van Buren. I want you to know that my boy will never... Well, I'll be a... Mom, will you look at that? An eight-pound blue-nosed hopper trout. What a fish! Well, Captain, so you like to fish too, huh? Like to fish? That's all I have to live for. Except for May here and the kids. Oh, where do you do most of your fishing, Captain? Off Bell Point. Bell Point? Well, you couldn't have pulled in any blue-nosed hopper trout there. No, but I've done a little stream fishing and I uh, read quite a lot. Mrs. Herrick, do you know that the... Mrs. Herrick, do you mind if I call you May? Where the children know each other so well. Not at all. I'd like it. And you just call me Hank. Both of you. That's Emily. Now, May, do you know that's the first time any guest of mine ever identified that fish so precisely? Well, Captain, how about a little liquid refreshment? Well, uh... Well, that reminds me, uh, Dave said he'd call at 9 o'clock and it's 10 after. Dave is our older son. What's so exciting about that, dear? He has a new lead on a theft, and he asked me to drive by the dock if he hadn't called at 9 o'clock. Oh, I hope he's all right. We better go right down. Let Dad and me go, Mom. May, there's no need for you to go with the men, just as we're getting better acquainted. I can drive you down later. I don't like him driving when he's upset. We won't be long. Let me drive you down by shortcut, I know. You excuse us? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. All warmed up, Captain John. Been kind of worried since I saw Dave board the Isabel. Get ready to shovel off. I'm going with you. No, honey, you wait in the office. This may really be dangerous. But, Carl, We I won't can... be long. Well, things will really be different when you're stockbroker. All right, let her come along. We gotta hurry up and find Dave. Well, thank you, Captain John. Cast off bound stern lines. Speed ahead. Take over, will you, son? Cheryl Land to Harbor Control. Harbor Control to Cheryl Land. This is Harry. Have you got anything on the tug, Isabel? Isabel reported in about 10 minutes ago on some private job. Should be heading down the coast. Thanks. Check with you later.
Off your port bow deck. Turn your lights off quick. How are you gonna make her stop? Take the wheel, Carl. Pull her up on the Isabel starboard. I'm going aboard. Okay. Watch yourself. After I jump aboard, drop back about 100 yards. If I need you, I'll flash a light. Listen, Captain John, I, I guess... said, where's Dave? They got him in the galley. Now you listen to me, Callie. I want you to cut your speed real easy. Cut speed! I said real easy. Real easy. What are you swallowing down for, Collie? Narva got the head? Y yeah, yeah, she's directly ahead. Good. I go see. Hold her steady now, just like she is. I'm going below and find Dave. If you have any trouble, use this. Watch it. The other mug's arm, too, and plenty tough. I'm not waiting any longer. Full speed ahead, Tip. But Captain John said to wait for the flash light. Something must have gone wrong. I sure wish I was tucked into my bed. Now look, Val. Do exactly as I tell you. Stand up. Put your palms against the wall. Drop them once and I'll drop you for good. Allie! Yeah? What's going on? Is Britt up there? Uh, no, he just went below. Dead. Yeah. Found the cobalt. Case is up. Good. Boyd, how's our little friend doing? Dozing peacefully, Captain. Well, don't disturb him. Put her up to full speed and head for the tug dock. Right, Captain. Keep him covered, son. I'll flash Carl to come alongside and we'll all head in with our interesting little packages. Son, Dave cleaned up that cobalt job, and we got a couple of very sick friends aboard. Head for the tug dock. Need any help? Oh, no, just stick along with us on the way in. How's Terry? Just fine, Captain. And I'm getting to like tug skippers better and better. Better than stockbrokers. Here's a little bonus for this skipper. That's even better than I've seen in the movie. 